It's On The Go FM. I'm Jason Norris. The On The Go FM podcast is where I like to talk about what you can do with a podcast. Exploring ways to make your message mobile. Teaching, training, telling stories, and changing lives. You can do it all with a podcast. And on this episode, I am talking about one of my rules for podcasting. I said on a previous rule episode that there are four parts to a mobile-friendly message. For instance, on the technical side, there's technology, what you use, and technique, how you use it. Technology and technique are not equal in importance, which is why there's rule six in podcasting, if you haven't heard that already. In the same way, on the communication side, there is content and presentation. Content is what you say presentation is how you say it. I believe content and presentation are equally important, especially when making your message mobile with a podcast. Rule seven in podcasting is presentation is just as important as content. And to get started on this, we have to topple an old cliche. Content is not king. I wrote an article at On The Go FM a while back uh, about content not being the king, as most people believe, and I still stand by that article even though my understanding of it has grown. One of the key points in that article and Rule 7 is this, you're in the communication business. As a podcaster, that is the thing that connects you with all other podcasters. The thing that all podcasts have in common is they want to communicate something. Now, some want to make you think. Some want to enable you to make changes, help you learn something, make you laugh at something, persuade you to buy something, excite you about a movie, a book, a TV show, or a concert, or have you simply listen to them and interact with them. No matter the reason, all podcasters are in the communication business. And that leads to a crucial question. What is more important, what you say or how you say it? Now, content is what you say. It's information. Content includes the details of an event or some new thing you've got to try. It's information about how to do something, how to do that something better. Content is very important. It should be true. And in most cases, sources should be cited. But if content is king, then all you have to do is simply dump all that content on people. But most people don't like being dumped on. And that's where presentation comes in. Presentation is how you say it. After all the facts are gathered, they're organized. The facts are pieced together in a way that will make sense to someone who has never heard what you're about to tell them. So when you speak, people will be able to follow you from start to finish and understand clearly what you're trying to say. Generally, you want your listeners to do something or become something after listening to you. You want to persuade people to follow your lead. Motivate people to take action. Inspire people to believe that change is possible. You want to move people in some direction. For example, a political group might say it just wants to inform you about a political issue. But they're not simply interested in information transfer. Instead, they want to stir your emotions, so you'll go sign a petition, go protest, go donate, or go vote their way. The content, the information you want to deliver is important, but it's the way you deliver the content that makes the difference. So I believe that what you say is equal to how you say it. That is, you need both accurate content and effective presentation. Now, I will say this, it is possible for a dynamic communicator to stir emotions and move listeners to act in a certain way, even with weak, inconsistent, or inaccurate content. You have to caution yourself when you feel persuaded by an emotional speech. 
Some people are incredibly skilled at presentation, even when they don't have the facts on their side. You have to be able to sort through their message and to find out if what they're saying is really true. Sometimes people genuinely want to help, but they they misunderstand an issue or some nuance of it. But other people, they're not genuine and they want to lead you astray. The flip side has its problems, too. Poor presentation can ruin even the best content. Exciting information spoken in mumbling monotone. It's boring to most listeners. When content is presented ineffectively, that content becomes noise to your listener. So speak truth. Be engaging. If your message is important enough to talk about, then work hard on both your content and your delivery. Get better at both to cut through the noise and to become a great communicator. As with all skills, this takes practice, which is why I also previously talked about rule three in podcasting. Now, rule three had said, start with what you know and learn as you go. As you're starting now, or even if you've been at this a while, right now, you may not be as good as you will become, but just start with what you know, get better as you go. Apply rule three to this one. So keep writing, keep speaking, keep podcasting, but start to apply rule seven in podcasting. And little by little, your words and delivery will improve over time. Presentation is just as important as content. If you would like help translating your teaching, preaching, and perspective on life into a mobile-friendly, very well-communicated message, then I'm here to help. Contact me for consulting or editing. We can talk through your specific needs to discuss the best way to make your message mobile with a podcast. I'm Jason Norris. You can find me at jasonnorris.com. And thanks for listening to this episode from On The Go FM.